let us create our first role so i go to t code pfcg and then i'll create a role so uh, g care id and i want to create a role for singapore okay or i'll say singapore uh, i'll say s q sp let's say singapore and then hit the create single role so this is the button i want to click i give a description role for singapore airlines go to the authorization tab here and then go to the yeah i need to save the role and then go to this change authorization data click ok to this uh, information and then you have two options apply template and do not select template so i will choose do not select templates in this authorization screen choose on manually inject authorizations i click here and now i need to give the authorization object so you need to look for the authorization object which we created earlier it was g f l i c n t r y now click the green arrow and now you can expand the manually injected authorization object and now you need to choose the activity code so activity code is always one that is oops uh, i think i clicked on the second one uh, i will show you this one later but i wanted to show the activity first so this is the activity and there is only one activity i told you that for cds we only want to show the display so in this role either you want to display or do not display at all so if you do not display then it doesn't make sense because there is no other activity the user can do so you have to select the display and then save it turn green now let's just select the airline code for which you want to give this role the access if i click on this airline code now i can choose from the search help which we get from the data element and now i want to give access only through the singapore airlines ideally or technically i can give access to as many airlines i want but since i am planning to use this uh, role only for the singapore airlines therefore i am giving singapore airlines and then click the green checkbox and then click the save so now both of them are green so what we did is for this role gcarid underscore sp that is the role for singapore airlines if any user is assigned this role then they will be able to display activities display and what airline codes the airline codes which is value sq so he will or she will be able to see only the singapore airlines after we have manually added the authorization objects for the flight schedule i need to generate it so if i hit generate it will ask it will say that the profile name this would be generated profile name for z care idsp is t dash bi5 some random gem numbers i said okay and then profile has been created and if i go back you'll see here a profile has been generated for sap uh, for this role z care id underscore sp for the singapore airlines this is the profile name so now we have the role ready but until and unless this role is given to any user this role has no meaning so if i create a role and i don't give it to any user that means no user will have this role so let me give this uh, role to myself what i'll do i'll go to the users and then i will add my user id my user id is demo2 i hit enter so by default it is gave me for eternity for 9999 so once you add the user you need to do the user comparison uh, you must save the role first okay i want to save it and then complete the comparison so there was nothing so there was no this is the first time i'm using it and the comparison user has been complete and it is successful okay attempted profile comparison demo 2 and profile comparison successful i'll hit enter and then i hit save again if you want so what did we do just now so what we did is we created a role in that role we gave the authorization objects which we wanted so the authorization objects so if you see here what are the authorization object we gave the authorization object which we gave was um, the authorization object which we created in the previous class and then in 
and then in the authorization object we gave the display um, authorization and the care id has to be sq and then we generated the profile the profile is created here and then we added a user who can access this role that means this user has access to this role now let's go back to the cds view and see if if my user id can see singapore airlines uh, data or not so so this is still remains the same nothing to change here in the uh, access control in the access control you don't need to specify the pfc zeros here you are specifying the authorization objects so always remember the access control is based on the authorization object which in turn is specified in the pfc zero and only those users which have those pfc zeros where we have this authorization objects can access the cds so the last time we tried to execute the cds it did not give us any output now we'll try one more time because my user has that role so let's see if i can execute it so I, i'm coming here and i hit f8 and look so we i can only see sq 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 because in that pfcg role i have this activity or oh, sorry this this authorization object and for this field value what i have given for that field value i have given if i go to this and go to, so this is the authorization objects and in the authorization object i have this activity display and the field value which is this airline code which is sq so let me show you one more time so here this fli country this is the field value okay here i am specifying that sq sq is the is the airline code for singapore airlines so that's the reason i can see the output for singapore airlines so now if i if someone else tries to execute the same cds will they be able to see that data no because only my user id has been assigned the role no other user id till now has been assigned so let me show you i uh, log in with as some other user and try to show the output so let me log in as an another user so so i will log in as sap yard 033 user and i give a password okay so so i am logged in now let me add my package so add a package so g s y i think i am in this package so let me go here go data services okay this looks like my cds all right this is the cds which we created and now i try to click f8 look here so i do not have access since the user sap yard 033 was not given any role till now so they do not have access to view the data but the demo to user so this user the demo to user still has an access if i click it as demo to user so if i go here and see here it, it says uh, active nw7 500 demo 2 okay so if i am demo to user if i click f8 i can see data but if i am if you look here it is sap yard 033 if you see the highlighted one it says sap yard 033 if i execute it i should see no data so this is how the roles play an important role in the access control if you want to give access to this sap yard 033 user the same role as demo2 then what you need to do you need to go to that pfcg so i am in this pfcg i need to give add that user in this authorization in this pfcg role so so look here the pfcg role is this i go to change mode then i go to the authorization tab so i have this profile already created so i go to the users and then i will add the user whom we want to give the access so in our, in this case it is sap yard 033 and hit enter so he will also or she will also get the access i click save now i come back to my adt since i have given this user sap yard 33 the same role 
uh, to view only the Singapore Airlines uh, data. Now if I hit F8, now see the magic. If I go here, if I click F8, oops, it still did not show up. Okay, I think I did not activate that change. So I added this, I need to save this. You have not made change and then I come back. Let me go there and regenerate it. Okay, so since I'm not a security guy, I might have missed something. Let me come here to the authorization. Okay, I think I found the issue. If you look at this user, it is not green. You know where? User incompletely compared. So if I go to this user, I need to hit this user comparison. Sorry, I forgot to show that. And complete comparison. All right. I think I need to hit this user also. I'll do again complete. Okay. So it looks green now. Let me save this. Let me come back and let me go in one more time just to confirm. So it's both are green now. Now let's go to the CDS. So this is for user SAPR33. Let me click F8 this time. And you see so I can see the care ID SQ so now two users can view the data and who are the two users the users who have been given the role or who have been assigned the role Z care ID SP so if you see here these are the two privileged users who can display data using that CDS view